I've made something risky. Was it a mistake? Well, let's talk about it. When I was building this helicopter and I was about to buy the servos, I got a heart attack. Four servos cost almost 400 pounds. The budget is tight and I'm not an exception either. But something strange happened. Have you heard about XQ Power? Me neither, never before. This company messaged me and they wanted to convince me to try their products for the helicopters. The only problem was they had no clue about RC helicopters and they know nothing about the parameters we are looking for. So they tried to convince me by the torque, by, by, by forces, by I don't know, many, many things, except the speed. So I had to talk to them. They sent me their product list to show what they can offer me. And I had to pick the servos for a helicopter. Here we go. It was a risk, yeah, I agree completely, because, because I knew nothing about the company. I decided to try them. And you know what? I don't regret it. Why? Because for a very decent price, and this is not a paid promotion, so the price they gave me wasn't extraordinary cheap or anything, I got a correct price. For four servos, I picked. The cyclic servos are the S, 8035D coreless servos. They are not the quickest ones, but let's see what they, what do they do? On six volts, and this is the limit I can use because of the fast receiver, they turn 0.131 seconds for 60 degrees. I mean, they are not the quickest ones, but for my flying behavior and for my uh, flying knowledge, they are good. By the way, the servos on 8.4 volts can turn in 0.088 seconds. I'm too aggressive, I made them fly, uh, sort of, set up flight. With the tail servo, I made a tiny mistake. I, I have to admit that. I checked the number, and this is my pick, not the company's pick, because as I said, they know nothing, or they knew nothing about RC helicopters, and they wanted to convince me by torque. And we all know that at an RC helicopter, the torque is less important than the speed. Uh, the, the servo I chose for the tail servo, which, which knows 22 kgs, on 7.4 volts or 18 kgs at 6 volts, the only mistake I made was the speed. I saw that the servo can turn 60 degrees just in 0.07 seconds, which is still not the quickest one, but all the tail servos didn't know higher speed either, so they should be good. The only problem, that was the voltage. As I said, I'm running on Futaba fast, so the maximum I can use is 6 volts. And for that, the 12, 12 sec seconds uh, for 60 degrees is a bit slow. And the helicopter didn't want to hold the tail. It wasn't bad, just it wasn't as rock solid as I would have it. So I ordered a well-known 
RC helicopter specific PL servo, which is fairly good, but the problem was there. It turns out it was a mechanical problem. I had to fix it, but I didn't test the servo again. But the cyclic servos, they are perfect. I can't say anything against them. I put them under a microscope to check the quality of the solder in the insulation. Yeah. Nice, beautiful. The soldering is nice, industrial quality, insulation is perfect. The gears are nice, robust, strong, there is enough grease, so no reason to complain. The only thing I experienced, this servo here started to get warm during the flight. I didn't understand the reason why. It turns out the room is very tight for this servo arm here and I didn't notice that the servo arm could get jammed on, on the frame so poor servo had to work against the jamming plus for the flight that's why it got a little bit uh, warm but when I cut the servo arm back now it can fit perfectly since then all three servos work uh, very well they are quiet they are working pretty well 50 flights so far or so and there was no symptom of any problem might be it's a bit early to say anything but 50 flights no issues let me tell you one more thing about this company it's not my experience each time my mate back in hungary wanted to order uh, similar servos because of the price but he told them there is no servo which would be enough as a tear servo because all of them are slow. You know what happened? They tuned one of their servos which wasn't far from the expectation and by reducing the torque they could increase the speed and they created a tear servo uh, which can turn 60 degrees just under 0.05 this is how helpful this company is. Was it a good idea to buy these servos? Who knows? In the long run, we will see. But if you are interested, check the link under this video and talk to them. Anyways, if you like this video and I could show you something useful, please give a like. Don't forget to subscribe because we will have similar contents as well. And see you in the next one.